The AA Radio, Loma Linda, where no listener is ever left behind. Everybody, happy Sunday. You are listening to KCAA, 1050 AM and Express 106.5 FM, the station that leave no listener behind. This is Whatever Works. I am your host tonight, Kyle Kerrigan. And I'm Ken Kerrigan. And today we have... Leah. And Emily. Leah and Emily. Uh, as you guys know, we do not have Sam tonight, so I will be taking the place of Sam and... You guys recognize my dad. He's always he's always on. So what's going on? Uh, you are on. Hi. Oh, I can go. All right, Leah. You were on uh, a few months ago, right? Yes. And like four. Like, okay. F- okay. So you were, you were gone f- four months. So what's new? You guys moved to Texas. Yeah, we ran away. Ran away for a few months and then ran back. <laughs> yeah, ran away for exactly. a few months. That's awesome. Literally how it went. Uh, so, so what was that like, and what was the decision making for you guys like? Like to make us go? Yeah. Okay, so Emily, my cousin, she was already going to Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I do remember yeah. you guys saying that. And yeah. then, oh, and then at the end of te- like the summer, like she had her whole room, her whole car packed everything, up. Yeah, and everything. Yeah. Everything packed up. Yeah, and then one day, like 3 a.m., I was like, I want to go too. <laughs> <laughs> So then I, she came over and we packed up my car and said bye to my mom and my dad at like four in the morning and then we drove, <laughs> drove twenty hours. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh no, ten, we stopped in ten. Uh, stopped in New Mexico and then another. We 10. stopped in New Mexico on a Tuesday, so we got these tacos, thinking like, oh, like they were gonna be so good. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. New Mexico tacos are no, just they, not. No. It was not. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's either California or Texas. Yeah, but there was better. Oh my gosh, the tacos in Texas go crazy. <laughs> crazy. Do they really? Yeah. yeah it's like. Crazy. Like if you found the right spot, like if you found the right place, so oh, good. Sure. Gas yeah, prices yeah. in Texas go crazy too, guys. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah, no, it, it it's been like five bucks over here <laughs> for gas. gas. Yeah, no, we drive around, we take pictures. We're like, oh my gosh, it's cheaper here. <laughs> we'll yeah, get oh gas yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, there's there's an app called Gas Buddy. Oh, I've heard of it. Mm-hmm. We should get it. But sometimes no, like because I do gas until like I have two miles left. Yeah. So I, sometimes I, I really cannot. Like I need to get gas right now. Right now. Yeah. Uh, we have another guest here. Uh, do you want to open the door right here, Emily? Just real quick. Yeah, right here. Oh my gosh! I wonder who it is. It's spooky uh, season. We, it we, could be uh, anybody. We just have someone watching the show. Oh, okay. That's gonna be. Our own real viewer. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> my goodness what's up Solomon yeah so we have a live live viewer for the show tonight like we did last week how we, it's exciting. actually been two weeks we've actually had live viewers for the show so that's amazing that is amazing it reminds me of like when you were little watching Disney Channel and then you would hear like Sweet Life and Zack and Cody and then you would hear like the real cloud like actually yeah, <laughs> yeah so we Solomon the do that. live reaction <laughs> <laughs> so when we say something Round funny like cackle so hard okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. such a good supporter so, uh, what's what's cool about Texas? You know, they have cows. They oh, have cows. I l- on know. every corner, I, on every corner. Like I, we never saw a pig, but you would drive, <laughs> <laughs> dude. And no, they're so nice. One time, me and Emily, because we would go for drives. Like, like gas yeah. is three dollars, so you can go for a drive in California. You can't go for a drive down the street without having to get gas again. Mm-hmm. So, oh right. In Texas, where we would drive around, and one time we were on this dirt road, and there was these cute horses, right? Mm-hmm. And this car came up behind us, and and then we thought like they were gonna be weird about it, like it was their property or something, because like people are weird about their property in Texas. Oh yeah. But yeah. but there the guy had rolled down his window, and we rolled down the window too, and he was like, "Oh, are you guys on the side of the road? Do you guys need gas? I just got gas. If you want some of my gas, like they are so nice in Texas. Oh, yeah. Like people in California, nice that would never happen. You never. would take my gas. Yes. Yeah. You would Literally. siphon my gas, and I'm gonna walk, wake up in the morning with E. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With no Cadillac converter either. <laughs> no, so <laughs> gone. <laughs> no, Texas would never. So, uh, where, where, where in Texas did you guys stay? Was it? 
Texas, we were in Waco. Waco. A yeah. college town. A little college <gasps> town, right like right by Baylor. Like frats oh, okay. every Thursday, frats, Friday, yeah. Saturday. Every corner, frat houses. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, what, what Shots every day of the week. <laughs> it was yeah. so fun. <laughs> no, serious. So which big university is by Waco? Baylor. <laughs> it was that one's, yeah. It's a Christian campus, but ain't... <gasps> no, can I tell you guys? Yeah. What? Emily, <laughs> tell them about the... Emily had met someone in Waterburger. Waterburger is like the in and out of Oh, Texas. yeah. It's like the in and out of Texas. Yeah. And he was... Okay, I'm going to say it so then enough so you can pick it up. Okay. okay. Anyway, she had met this guy in Waterburger... Uh-huh. And he was wearing a cross necklace, and she was like, "Oh, like, what's your cross necklace for? Like, not for, but like, I believe, like, I believe in God too." And then what did he say? I don't remember. I mean, when I remember that like, night, but what did we say? Because I was he, like, "Oh, I have mine too." No, like, he literally told. But what Emily, did he say? He was like, "I go to Baylor. Ca- like, it's a very Christian. Like, no alcohol. Like, it's a dry campus." And he was like, "I go to Baylor, and I'm a Christian boy, but God told me I could sin tonight." Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no. That's kind of cheesy. Yeah. I love it. No, That's that was crazy. Say. It was a little. I was like, <gasps> was no like, in way. In the water, <laughs> <laughs> no one. That was it. That's what I have to say that, about that yeah. one. <laughs> that was that one. Loki, the, the uh, Christian colleges actually party harder. Go yeah. the craziest. Yeah. They, they, yeah, no, they actually do. Like It's true. Oh, uh, when no. I was at a We Azusa, witnessed it firsthand. <laughs> witnessed it. <laughs> yeah, I know. There, there'd be dry, you know, there'd be like entire floor takeovers. Because like w- when I went to APU, it was like the bottom floor was boys and it was girls and it was boys and it was girls. And everyone oh, be no. like, everyone go to floor three, and everyone <gasps> be on floor three, and everyone. It was party. a house party. <laughs> yeah, but all so the doors were open, and it was crazy. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that's amazing. So you guys were there for four months. Yeah, well, uh, like three. three. Yeah, about three. Like three, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was three the months. best three months. It was so fun. I, it was. I would. I loved Texas. I loved Texas. Anyway. What did you guys do uh, for work, or where'd you guys stay at? We were. I was at Target. Oh, I had a, yeah I when I had come back for the summer um they had kept my job so that when I moved back it would be ready oh and that's I, cool yeah yeah so I just kind of took like a leave I just took a personal leave and then when I went back they started me right back at the position I was at oh there you go yeah but what did they do when you left again none of our business none of our business we gotta let you go <laughs> 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 That's no. like the casino. You're like you're you're going for how long? You're like mm. ooh, <laughs> three three days, three points. <laughs> <laughs> no, for yeah. real, bro. I would never go back to the casino. No. I was thinking that when I was coming back to California, I was like, oh, maybe I should go back to the casino. And I, no, I would not. You wouldn't. Yeah. The hours, no. The ooh, people, no. Yeah. Oh, I got my steps in though. Oh, I was so skinny at the casino. I got my steps in every day. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. Um, they they tried to offer me my, my position back. Now. Oh, you're lying. No, like a month after. And you declined <gasps> it? They sent you an email? No, they, they called me. No, they didn't. They, yeah, so they sent me an email. They called me. And they were like, hey, we sent you an email like three days ago. <laughs> and I you're said, like, yeah. okay. I, said, <laughs> I seen it. Yeah, I said, Spam. It, yeah, it's in junk. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's in my junk. Don't play on my phone. Mm-hmm. I'm so serious about that, too. She yeah. is. Since I pay for my phone, there's there should be no reason you're playing on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I will hang no, up exactly. blog. My Instagram, I have 128 people blocked. I don't play. 128? <laughs> yeah, like, you annoy me one time, blocked. Blocked. Quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's over. And I will never revisit the list again. Like, it will, you will stay Dang, blocked so for life. Is, so it's like a death note. <laughs> yeah. So when I end my well, not like when I well at the end of my life, I, I we can go back <coughs> and if if you check that list, if there's anyone on that list at my funeral, they are not invited. They were not supposed to be there. There's a streamer I follow. Right out. She uh she has like over a thousand people blocked on Discord, <gasps> and she, every oh once in a while, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> it is. every once in a while she'll she'll do like live uh like a live stream and she'll be like. Should I unblock this person? <laughs> she'll unblock a random person, and she'll be like, why should I unblock you? And then they'll have a conversation. She'll be like, nope, block. <laughs> and then she'll go down the <laughs> that list. That sounds like Solomon. <laughs> that sounds like Solomon. He would do that. You think Solomon would do that? 
Bro, I, nah, you I could text so. Solomon high, and he would. Be, like, it depends on his mood. But if he takes out high, rudely blocked. <laughs> like, and all you said is high. No way. Blocked. Yes. I don't believe that. Yes. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> One time I meowed at Solomon, and he got so <laughs> mad at me. Oh no. Oh, I think I remember that day. That was at the casino when we were both there, right? Yeah. yeah. Well. Well, you just don't go bad. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, ch- Kyle trained me at the casino. I did. I did. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I trained a lot of people that surpassed me. <laughs> oh. It's but, okay, because um, you know what? They're working those crazy late hours. hours. Yeah, they're working mm-hmm. those crazy hours with yeah. the crazy people. Riding a nasty bus <laughs> with germs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Nah. That was not it. I'm kind of glad I left. I will never go back to a job that gives you a point system. There's there's a lot of companies that are doing it now though. That's unfortunate. You know? Yeah, I was so confused when you were company. trying when she was trying to explain it to me. I was like, what? I was like, I feel like like I'm in like school or something. Believe it or not, there's companies that are worse, like Amazon. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to my friend about that yesterday because she was like, oh, I want to work at Amazon, but she has IBS, and I was like, girl, you can't <laughs> work. At, you're not taking. Yeah, no, they'll point you for that. They point you for that. I was like, you get 20 minutes a whole eight hour shift, and she was like, oh no, it takes 20 minutes for me to even unbuckle. <laughs> 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 like, oh, I was literally gonna say it. I was like, <laughs> "You're right." Um, no, I I worked at Amazon for a whole three days and I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> three days, bro. I don't. Yeah, that was me when I first moved to Texas. I was like picking up random jobs. I did like orientation day at Cracker Barrel, a week at Olive Garden. She got her. I don't but know what else I did. I would get like souvenirs. Yep. I I have the shirts, the aprons. I did one day. We did one day at an Asian um, <coughs> restaurant. A Asian restaurant. No, yeah. Let me freaking, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, so me and Emily were like, oh, we should get a job together in Texas. Like, we weren't planning on coming home yet. But it just happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so we were like, oh, we should get a job together. So we go, so the Asian restaurant just opened up. Grand opening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we walk in. We're like, oh, are you guys hiring? And the guy was like, yes, you start tomorrow. Come tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So we pull up the next day. And then as soon as the restaurant opens, there's a roach on, like, like they're opening the doors shoulder. and there's a roach yeah. on his shoulder. And I'm like, I'm going to let you know. Like, I cannot just She's, sit there. Yeah. Like, I can, I'm going to let you know. So then I was like, oh my gosh, like a roach, a roach. And the girl, his <laughs> wife comes over and slaps him. The roach goes flying like, like it got its wings that day. <laughs> oh, that's wild. It was disgusting. Me and Emily have never, well, actually me and Emily filled up ourselves some like soda and water mm-hmm. and then we walked out yep with our little waters and sodas oh <laughs> yeah i can't work with bugs <coughs> yeah, next thing um, you know no the orange chicken is a cockroach Ugh, hey. no, no. <laughs> we, we got a shirt from it though oh, yeah but we got a shirt from it though that was you our souvenir you know, that's funny um i did solar after i left the casino as soon as i got my uniform i quit oh my they gave me did two get shirts and a hat it? no no, they did, but it has a logo, and I wear it around. And the, the shirts are actually pretty comfortable, and so is the hat. Oh, so you go knocking door to door, pretend like, hey, let me fix your solar. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> and so I was, I was knocking door to door for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I, I have his old shirts from his casino. I wear. Oh, uh, Emily wears my shirt from the casino for pajamas. I do. Yeah. yeah. Some, they are. Some of they are. They are good. Um, yeah. like the material. Yeah. And all of my shirts are big because since I worked with basically all guys in the department, like I, you guys yeah. only had big shirts, yeah. So all my shirts are big. Mm-hmm. Did they ever make you return your uniform? Yeah, uh, actually. I so missed my those late those pants. Those were <laughs> nice pants. I loved those pants. So I can say this now. Okay, but, go ahead. Uh, you, you stole them. No. You put y- a yes. hole in them. Oh, okay, keep going. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, I I didn't steal them because I paid for them. But um, oh. if you didn't return them, you, you paid. So for them. actually, before you started, we had other shirts. Yeah, I know those were ugly. And so I, I actually keep them when we're in the church. <laughs> so these are my nice button ups. And so what happened was, <laughs> they made us return the old shirts to get the new uniform. But I never returned the old shirts. They just gave me the uniform, and I said, "Are, are we straight?" And they're like, "Yeah." So I, <laughs> I ended up keeping the old shirts. No, because right before Kyle had quit, we had, like, the casino would have, like, a 
like a field day. What was it called? Like an appreciation day. Yeah. And they gave they gave Kyle they gave all of us tickets to go to this appreciation day, and then Kyle had gotten fired or he quit, and they revoked his they, tickets. They took my tickets away. Yeah. They took wow. his tickets away. Which which was crazy because he I, still went. I still went with Solomon. Yeah. Solomon's a good friend. He's he's a G for that. He is a G. Shout out Solomon. Shout out <laughs> Solomon Crank. But no, but no, that was crazy because I was talking to um, one of the supervisors or actually assistant manager at the time. Who actually? Um, okay. That's fine. I'm I'm not gonna say yeah, yeah, names, yeah. but uh, <laughs> tall tall white guy, older. Oh. And so, yeah, and so I talked to him. I was like, hey, could I still go to the appreciation day? Like, would you know? He's like, yeah, if you already signed up, they went to your personal email. You can go. Lo and behold, a week later, I check. <laughs> I was like, I'm glad I didn't drive myself because the tickets, it said void on them when oh, I reopened no. the link. Mm -hmm. They still gave me the tickets, but they said void. I was what? like, that's wrong. That is. And Universal's so far. And, and the traffic. And yeah. yeah. Oh, but we got, I was going to say to pay to park, but we got the free parking pass. Mm -hmm. And so I texted Solomon about it. I was like, look. <laughs> I was like, He's like, let's let go. go. No, and I was supposed to go the same day you guys had gone, but I had gone the first one or whatever. Yeah. And you went, I saw you and Solomon were, um, I didn't get into the Mario Kart land. Oh, it you wasn't did? open. And you guys ate there, and all the food looked so iconic. We got, uh, I'm actually going to tell yeah. the story real quick. Okay, go ahead. I but, love stories. Um, <laughs> so, so the thing about the Super Mario World at the time was it was only like, you, you can only go into the land like at certain times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cafe, the the uh, what's it called, the Toadstool Cafe, was. Well, you said it was expensive, no? Well, obviously. Yeah, but so the thing is, is people book outside, and it sold out within forty five minutes. For the whole day. For the whole day. That's why I hate amusement parks. Don't go, guys. And so, um, and so we go, and you're like, nah, it sold out for the day. So I'm gonna sold out for the day. I was like, let's just go see if we can slide in. <gasps> And so we go, we talk to the guy at the front. He's like, do you guys have the reservation? And I was like, you know, we're here for, for Samuel, this and that. And he goes, you know what? I don't give a F. Just get in. It's my last day. <gasps> so he let us in. Oh, my God. Be quiet. <laughs> so he let us in. We didn't have to check. We didn't have to give him anything. Or pay for no reservation. Pay for no reservation. Nothing. We just went in. Everything always works out. Yes, th we that would always get into places. Yes, that was me and Emily's thing in Texas. Like, like even now, like you should never stress because everything always works out, and the universe will always make a way. Like mm -hmm. every time. I got um. Uh, I was watching this vlogger. His name is David Dobrik. Oh my no, god! No, please stop. And so, <laughs> please stop. Back in college, we were watching his videos like a lot because that's when he was big. He's canceled. And yeah. so, um, he is. He I saw this video where he was like taking like he would get ladders and go into free places. And ladders so, into where? So like if you carry a ladder into like a place. Oh, I seen that, and and people won't question you because you got a ladder. Like you, you got like a you're supposed to be there. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, you working on something? Yeah. yeah. So. Howdy. So me and my roommates, we we actually bought a ladder you from, from Lowe's. You did it. And we went to the Hollywood Wax You're, Museum. You did not. And we did. We did it and we got in. No, you <laughs> did <laughs> not. We no, you did Emily, do you know what we should do with, bro? That just gave me and Emily like a lot of ideas. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So next oh, time we awesome. want to go to the club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The next time we want to go to the club, we don't want to pay that fee. Paint bucket? Yeah. I'll you hold the paint the bucket? Club. Yeah. <laughs> they said the, 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 what the, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering. The stage needs fixing. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Touching Let's up. go. Yeah, some touching up. Right now while they're performing. You know what'll Safety help Safety hazard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> those, like, those like neon vests too. Like uh -huh. I have the vests. Target one. I have the Target. The, the Yes, yeah, safety vest. Yeah. You can get them for like super cheap at like wherever, Home Depot or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like a couple bucks, literally. I love Home Depot. And so you, you just put it on, carry a ladder and get in the club. Why not? <laughs> I'm down. No, because yesterday me and Emily, well, last night we had gone to the club and it was 30 bucks each person yeah and i paid it so that's 60 bucks emily's like my child right. guys she don't is. have friends <laughs> <laughs> do not have friends because you it's it's never half in it it's oh, <laughs> i got am her child. i got you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and drinks at the club were like 15 bucks no i can't go to the club no we are retired mm -mm. retired that, that's why you gotta go when kids eat free <laughs> <laughs> That's no. how you pick up older women, I'll too. I'll go on ladies' night. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the branding iron. Yeah. Oh, he know about branding iron. branding iron. We only go to the branding iron. One was it last summer? Was it you who we wanted to go on the the bowl so bad mm-hmm. that we had just we paid, got in, rode the bowl, left. Yeah, literally. Oh, yeah. We ain't down for that. You, you guys have to go it's on one two Wednesday. step. That's that. College it's college night. night. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. no, we know all about college night. Yeah, that's the only night we get in. Emily's not twenty one. Oh, okay. oh no yeah. guys let me tell you what happened in texas no oh my gosh oh go. my gosh so in go. california oh, before go. we had left to go to california emily needed a fake id obviously because you see how oh. we go out mm-hmm. so we got her a fake id well it's not but fake. it was it a was real. real id it was somebody's we idea that we found up off the yeah. club floor gave it yeah. to emily it didn't look and like her or anything but it worked i was 30 years old 32 32 to be she exact. was 32 years old what? living what was in name? puerto rico or uh, puerto rico? <laughs> Wait, oh. it was what was it I, that's why I got, that's rico. what happened at the end because pico I rivera she was living in pico no rivera. it was not pico rivera i was not pico rivera okay keep going. but Tell i think her name then. was like vanessa or something I don't know. yeah okay so anyway so it worked everywhere i'm talking everywhere, everywhere. like i could take it to the airport vegas it, work. it worked in vegas. vegas it worked in vegas like because when you scan the back it scans like it's a real because it's real yeah so we go to texas we're in the club and i have never seen emily so so crazy in my life <laughs> like so out. here's the thing Here, here's the thing so i i try to get a fake id when i was 17. <gasps> Hey, Mister, um, won't you send me a fake ID? <laughs> Tim, Timmy got in. My best friend, Michael got in. Oh, and he Marco got in. in. They looked at me. They're like, "No, nope. nah, get the heck out!" Oh, oh no! No. <laughs> no. So yeah, I went home. No, but <laughs> no. But let me tell you. So we're in Texas. We go to this yeah. this club in Texas, and me and Emily are holding hands. She had an X on her. She originally had an X on her wrist. But they had yeah wiped off it by wiped the end of the off. night. So They're by like gone. three in the morning, we were already you know a little bit you know too Have, too crazy. Having fun. And she goes up to the bar, and I was like, oh, I want a cranberry vodka. She was like, me too. The, the guy gave it to her. So I was like, oh, that's the bartender's fault, right? Yeah. Isn't that the bartender's fault? Yeah, and it's the guy's fault. Yeah. Okay, so we're walking away, and we're walking in the crowd, and me and Emily are holding hands, and she lets go. All of a sudden, I hear Leah, 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 <laughs> Leah. I turn around, and she's holding her drink. Like the guy, this, and I don't remember this. She had guard, to tell me this. Yes, the security guard is, like, pressing her, like, give me, your, give me the drink. You're not 18. And she's holding it up because she's short, and he's hold, she's holding it up. She's like, no, no trying to get it yeah and so when i come back so i walk Did over get it yes yeah, so they oh, took yeah, her id yeah. they took her fake id so now we can't go nowhere yeah. and n- cut it in half yeah, yeah. they cut it yeah. in yeah. half you're, yeah you're gonna have to wait it's fine though <laughs> L- i'm less than a month yeah less than a month. Away, yeah, yeah you, com- you guys are coming to her 20th first 21st? right we're having a kick yeah back. everyone's okay. invited yeah mm-hmm. even you mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah trust it'll You'll be get the invite yeah because mm-hmm. we never learn our lesson over here Mm-mm. That's funny, yeah. Um, <laughs> since I was gonna bring the keg, I love that. No, and I've never seen a keg. I've never seen that in my whole really? life. We went to these frat parties. There's oh. Kegs. kegs. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You have yeah. to go to college to see them. Oh yeah. Oh well. Yeah. And then we'll do a keg stand. Yeah, like I'm down. Actually, um, mm-hmm. uh, isn't <laughs> keg like beer? You know what's funny yeah. about Solomon no, too? No, is, no, I wouldn't uh, do it. Solomon yeah. at the casino was the gum guy. He was. He always had gum, and he and would not give it to you if you didn't like him. <laughs> and and now that's he's telling me he's the keg guy. I've never known a keg guy and a gum guy to be the, the same, same person. person. <laughs> so that's just what makes him unique. I love it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I was young, I had a van, '67 van that I had a keg always in the back. Uh, always. I, what if you got pulled over? I didn't care. Oh, that's a. That, no, guys. In Texas, one thing about Texas. They have two types of DUIs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Well, obviously, yes, protect the road. I, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> protect the road, Yeah, guys. protect the road. But that's crazy. Yeah, it's not no. crazy, but, like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's one thing I never did and I never agreed with was drinking and driving. Yeah. Well, no, that's, oh, no, yeah, we don't agree with that yeah. either. But no, I think that's, that's, like that's really messed up. But it's just, like, really crazy because they have two different types, but they fall under the same category and... It, obviously but you can't even have like what you said a keg in your car like even if it's empty like no 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 well yeah, obviously you can't have an open ca- no but you can't even have a closed one that's right you yeah can't no, even you have, have to take it. the tap off and it's got to be in your trunk too yeah it's not allowed to be in your back seat well that's fine Protect what i used to do sir. is uh we'd go to drink at state forest hope a bunch of people and i said charge a bottle of 
a buck a cup. A buck a cup? Oh, that's a good deal. Well, this is back. Well, nowadays, it's seven ninety nine. This is a really good deal. This is back in the seventies. You know what? If you offered me a beer for a dollar, I would have a beer addiction. You would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a lot of money in the seventies. What I'm saying. You know. All right. Those I like got a dollar. Bucks, right? I got a maybe. dollar. No. Maybe. No. no maybe. maybe like six maybe or seven. Six. So that's that's why I always had a keg in the van. So when I went to somebody's house, oh, we want to have a party, but it's Sunday and it's can't buy beer on. Any alcohol on Sunday. Oh, on Sunday. Yes. Yeah. And you know in Texas, oh my gosh, we saw that in, um, what's that movie called? Footloose. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, you can't beer, buy beer on Sunday. It's God's day. Mm -hmm. yep. But in Texas, you can't buy any alcohol yeah. after 7 p.m. Like 7, no. what was it? 9? Like maybe 9. Yeah. yeah. Like you yeah. had to go early. Yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. South, South Carolina, Carolina is pretty strict. Yeah. 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 You can't gamble yeah. in Texas yeah. either. No. Mm -mm. No, everywhere in Texas I know goes to Louisiana. There's a nice. <gasps> <place>. <gasps> Me and Emily were gonna go to Louisiana. It's it was only an eight-hour drive, yeah. and we were gonna go to you New should've. Orleans. We were gonna do New Orleans. We were gonna do New oh, Orleans. I, I, I wish we New did. Orleans, that would have been cool. I was drunk the whole time when I stayed in New Orleans. No, but me and Emily, because we don't, <laughs> I was we texting don't like... this guy the whole week, uh, tech drunk. <laughs> drunk? Me and Emily don't like paying for hotels, so we'll yeah. sleep in the... Like, we'll we spend all our money, mm -hmm. and we will sleep in, in the, the car. car. Like, me, me and her, we aren't going to spend it... Well, we'll spend it on anything, but a hotel is the something we will not do, spend it on. The we'll best sleep. thing to do is go to, like, uh, use your discount, Target. Oh, no, she Get don't work like there no more. I do now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mine. You do? Yeah, I, wor I, I work at the San Bernardino one out here. Okay. She works at um, Red Robin. Get like an inflatable bed, okay? No, no, we don't do inflatable beds. No, we got one and it popped. We I woke up every morning it. on the bare the floor. floor. <laughs> like, There's no. like a really nice one that you could buy. And so what you could do is you could rent out a U-Haul. Why don't we just put it in the back of it? I okay, have a truck. you know what you're saying? We you were literally truck. saying buy a bed, <laughs> buy a U-Haul, add that together, that is the same price as a hotel. No, no, I no, will no, sleep no. in the car no. for free. <laughs> well, that's true. But, like, I I can't do that, so I... Why can't you sleep in the car? I just can't. No. I'm not you, that You person. can't because you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyone no, can sleep in like the car. You get real well, I get, away. like, forced insomnia. I don't know. It's no, but like I would get really cranky because Emily, like, you can't really push her. Ch <laughs> her chairs don't go up and down. Like, it's yeah. so, like, if I can't stretch out my feet, like, so I would, like, she has toes, like, all over her when she'll, when we sleep in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. need to be stretched out. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's why I had that van. I crashed in the back. See, that's why. You, I, didn't, you, I didn't have you, to drive. You got to get the U-Haul van. You okay, Emily, so you want to go half and half on the U-Haul? Yeah. Oh, I'm down. Down. We'll just never return it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, they that's know. a felony. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a felony. Not if we run away to New Hampshire. They will never find us. <laughs> they will never find us. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> you could try it. We really, we're going to go move it to Oregon next <laughs> year. We're going to do Oregon, yeah. We're going to okay. do Oregon next year, do. May, June, July, August. Mm -hmm. May and June, July. Okay. So yeah, we're going to okay, run so away again next year. Four months at times. Yeah. So then okay. the other, so then we could still like have our taxes done in California. I don't know. I don't know if that's the better option, but my mom and dad do my taxes, so it's like the only oh, option. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, we're coming up on the thirty uh, on the thirty minutes, so we'll take a five minute break, and uh, we'll come Have back fun. at seven thirty five, and we will continue talking with Leah and Emily. Oh my god! So <laughs> as so as you know, Sam's not here. It'll be my dad as a host. You are listening to Whatever Works on KCAA. 10:50 a.m. and 106.5 FM. We'll be right back. From the Bureau of Economic Geology, this is Earth Day. Eyes are not just windows to the soul. They've been key to the evolution of life as we know it. Predators develop binocular vision to give them better depth perception when hunting prey. As a response, prey developed eyes on the sides or tops of their heads for a wide field of view to detect predators. A raptor can spot a rabbit from more than a mile away. Butterflies see ultraviolet light to find flowers and mates. But there was a time long ago when life on Earth was blind. Then, about 500 million years ago, trilobites evolved. 
Much like today's horseshoe crabs, they scuttle around the ocean floor looking for marine worms or carrion to scavenge. And to help find food, they began to develop eyes. This amazing new capability allowed them to spread across the globe, adapt to different environments, and diversify into as many as 20,000 species, ranging in size from a fingertip to a trash can lid. Trilobite eyes forced other organisms to evolve defense mechanisms like locomotion and camouflage and eyes to compete with them for food and to avoid being eaten. Some scientists think that trilobite eyes encouraged the explosion of diverse life forms that led to the dinosaurs. Vision enabled trilobites to dominate the Earth for more than 100 million years, and although they eventually went extinct, vision has survived across the millennia. So next time you use your eyes, thank the lowly trilobite for getting the party started. I'm Scott Tinker, and this has been your Date with Earth. Earth Date is produced by the Bureau of Economic Geology at the University of Texas at Austin. Earth Date is researched by Julie Hennings, written by Harry Lynch, and distributed by Mark Blunt and Casey Walker. For more stories, follow us on Facebook or visit earthdate.org. Tehebo Tea Club's original Pure Pouty Arco Super Tea helps build red corpuscles in the blood which carry oxygen to our organs and cells. Our organs and cells need oxygen to regenerate themselves. The immune system needs oxygen to develop and cancer dies in oxygen. So the tea is great for healthy people because it helps build the immune system and it can truly be miraculous for someone fighting a potentially life-threatening disease due to an infection, diabetes, or cancer. The tea is also organic and naturally caffeine-free. A one-pound package of tea is $49.95, which includes shipping. To order, please visit TeheboTeaClub.com. Tehebo is spelled T like Tom, A-H-E-E-B like boy, O, then continue with the word T and then the word club. The complete website is TehuboTeaClub.com or call us at 818-610-8088, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. California time. That's 818-610-8088, TehuboTeaClub.com. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's Super Roth! Okay, a gimmicky opening for a commercial about Super Roth Universal Life Insurance, but I'm sure it got your attention. Now, what is a Super Roth, you ask? It's a permanent indexed universal life insurance that's totally liquid and easily accessible once it matures, can be used to supplement retirement savings or a death benefit, or both, has no income or contribution limit, has no five-year rule like Roth IRAs, has no 10% penalty for accessing the funds before age 59 and a half. Oh, and the average historical returns are 5 to 7% annually, tax-free. Super Roths also lock in gains, which means you don't lose your money when the market is down. Sounds incredible, right? Sounds super? Super Roths are the way of the future, specifically your future. To see if you qualify for a Super Roth, go online to thesuperroth.com. Bob Vila here with my home improvement tip of the day. If your bathroom is looking a bit dated, but there's no room in your budget for a complete remodel, why not think in terms of small upgrades that'll spruce things up? One such project is replacing old discolored caulk around the bathtub with new fresh-looking silicone caulk. Start by applying some caulk softener to the old caulk and let it sit for a couple of hours. Once the old caulk's softened, use a stiff putty knife to remove it. Then, after getting rid of any remaining soap scum or debris, apply rubbing alcohol to kill any mildew that may have been lurking behind the old caulk. Once the area is dry, fill the tub with water to ensure it's fully settled, then apply a good quality silicone caulk. Make sure it's one that's especially made for bathrooms and contains a mildew side. That'll help keep your tub looking clean and inviting. Get more info at BobVila.com and right here at home with me, Bob Vila. Sunday. 
you are listening to Whatever Works on KCAA 1050 AM and Express 106.5 FM, the stations that leave no listener behind. I am your host tonight, Kyle Kerrigan. And I'm Ken Kerrigan. And then tonight we, we, we're, uh, it, we're basically interviewing and bringing back Leia. So hi. say hi. And tonight we have her cousin on too, Emily. Hi, my beautiful cousin. So welcome back from the half. Uh, real quick, shout out to our sponsor, snjradio.com. No negative news, no politics, just feel good music. So um, just before the half, they were talking about how they lived in Texas and they moved back about what, two weeks ago? Last week? Like two weeks. Yeah. Like three weeks. Two, almost three probably. So we came back September 26th. Fifth. Yeah. One of those. Somewhere days. around there. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, they were talking about living in Texas and just moving back. So you guys have future plans. You said you guys are going to Oregon, right? That's what we want to do. Yeah. And that's going to happen when? I we May, next year, May, May June. Year, like, May, June. Oh, May. actually, that's not correct. Why? Because I'm going to Cabo in June. That's oh. not correct. Okay, well, we're going to go well, sometime we'll after out. June, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. like, June, July, August, September. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's June. what we did. Yeah. That's what we did this year. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we, we're we correct. So, same time, just next year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just want to exactly. check the weather up there. Yeah, well, I really want... Have you guys seen Twilight? I really want to jump off a cliff well, oh. with, with water under. But <laughs> <laughs> in Oregon. Yeah, I would hope so. In Oregon, yeah. <laughs> And I just I don't know. So where 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 in Oregon are you guys gonna probably stay? Would okay, so stay? right when you so here's the thing. So when you're driving up through California, you know, there's like a border where it's like welcome to uh, Oregon, uh-huh. right there, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right there, right there. The just so you can say you live. In just Oregon. so I can say yeah. we did it. Yeah, me and I Emily didn't do that much research. It's for the I plots. just go where she goes. Yeah, it's for the plots. <laughs> I taught say we did I it. taught Emily that when I Yeah. Emily used to be like so like well actually that's not a good trait, sorry. Okay. Well anyways <laughs> okay. so Emily used to be like very like rule book and yeah. I'm very like no rules apply to me. Oh, and yeah. so when we started hanging out more, she like uh, So you corrupted her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and now we live we do everything with intention of everything works out for us and we're gonna do it for the plot. So then when we're old and we can't do it anymore, we're gonna tell our grandkids and yeah. when they're having anxiety and they're like, Oh grandma, like I don't know, like no, you do Just know, go do it. Yeah. Yeah, live no, your definitely. life because you only have one there's no better time to do it than now yes like, and we're young like okay if we're 30 or 40 i understand like you're yeah. weird like get your life together no kids <laughs> nothing but we have no kids no nothing. no husbands yes, nothing nothing yeah. and you know i think it's a great way to live because um <laughs> sam sam told me oh yeah what did sam say uh they actually did a study on um so they went and to people senior who homes. their life okay <laughs> so basically, they they went to senior homes and they asked all one the seniors, did. you know, what's one thing you could have changed? Oh, that's like a s- I could cry at that question. Yeah, and actually, the number one answer travel for most seniors was like, no one regrets what they did. It's people regret what they didn't do. Do yes, and exactly. so exactly, and, so and money like, comes and goes. We stand by oh that. Yeah, no, stand, I stand by that. Money comes and goes, but like you never want to live life and say, "I should have did that." Because the memories you'll have forever, like yeah, memories will last you a lifetime. Yeah, mm-hmm. like me and Emily, like as every morning we co- like we wake up, we're like, well, "At least we woke up." <laughs> yeah, like whatever we did yesterday is yesterday. We woke up today. Let's do it again. Yep. <laughs> we're gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> Gremlins, yeah. like in the best way, like the monsters ink gremlins. Yeah, like cute, cuddly, mm-hmm. only crazy when they gotta be crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Open the I door and movie. find out. But yeah. So uh, after Oregon, oh, okay. So you said you're going to Cabo first. Oh, I'm going to Cabo, but not with Emily. Okay, because I had a trip planned. I had gone to Miami last summer, and it just was a trip gone bad. And yeah. so Carnival, Carnival, Carnival cruises. Mm-hmm. I keep wanting to sing, I keep wanting to say Carnival Club, <laughs> <laughs> Carnival <laughs> Cruise Line. Cruises, yeah. They reimbursed us and they're sending us on a Cabo cruise instead. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, but it's in June, so we, I gotta be year. there for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it's like and a week cruise. It goes or? Way better. Yeah, it's a week. Yeah, it's a week. The m- never. I will never go to Miami. I will never go to Florida. Do not invite <laughs> me never to, go Florida. to Florida. Or I mean, I've one of my best friends lives in Orlando, uh, Desiree. 
And so she lives there, and then I have. Mm-mm. Uh, <laughs> does he live in Orlando or does he live? Oh, yeah, he does live in Orlando. Yeah. Or just outside, yeah. Just outside. Well, and I heard Orlando was like, if you go to Florida, you got to go to Orlando. If you go to Florida, as soon as you walk outside, con- <laughs> condensation. <laughs> condensation. Oh, yeah. You are sweaty. Yeah. yeah. My upper lip is tasting like a My McDonald's french fry. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> we, I, didn't, I honestly didn't mind Texas heat. Like at ni- 9 p.m., 102, it what the heck? It was fun. It was yeah. fun being out there. Yeah. yeah. And then I love, I just love Texas. I think, the I think we place. might make our way back one day. I don't think so. But no, like, <laughs> no, not to live like, again, no. but like back to Texas, like to visit. It's a 20. Oh, not hour driving. Something drive. Girl, fly. We're flying. Oh, okay. I wouldn't no, drive that No, but you again. know what's messed up? Me and Emily had plans to go to Vegas. And so I had bought the flights. <laughs> Like already, you know, try and yeah. I'm such a procrastinator. This is like the only time she was on I, top of it. This I time. was on top of it. I <laughs> bought the flights and everything, everything super except cheap. For the hotel, yeah. yeah, put my car down, everything, and then we ended up having to come back to Texas, so we don't need those flights anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, we ended up coming back to California, and I'm still getting paid. I still have to pay for those flights that we're yeah. not gonna be that. sitting on. <laughs> so, um, always procrastinate. Always procrastinate. It comes out better. I love just it. wait. Just wait till the end. Very last minute, you got to do something. Then you really know you have to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Just like the gas. Yeah, I guess that's true. Exactly. Wait, wait till you're on E. Wait till you're on E. Oh, two I miles. I can't ever do that. I can't do that. I I can't do that. Yeah, I, I get anxiety. Good. That's why I got tri- double A. Triple, triple A. A. Triple A. I can't even talk right now. Well, I mean, we got it too, but like, I'm not trying to wait. Like. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> Just like I'll wait to get gas. I'll see that. Oh, you have 20 miles left up. That's not five. That's not two. As soon as it gets yeah. down to that two mile 20 part. miles is like 10 minutes of driving. Exactly. I can make it to a cheaper gas station that time. And if I don't, triple A. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Why do we pay for triple A if we're not going to? I don't. Uh. Thank you. Shout out to my dad. But why are we going <laughs> to? Why do we pay for it if we're not going to use it? That's true. And they're always so nice. They are. And they always like you make their, they you make AAA's day when they come save you because they are doing nothing. Literally. Oh, yeah. 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 So they just wait around. Yeah. Oh, uh, we it's a we actually maxed out AAA last year because we were towing cars that we bought. Yeah. Why are you towing <laughs> cars you bought? Make well, money. To make money. That's how I make oh, money. Oh, big ballers yeah. over here. Uh, my dad flips cars. Oh, I f- I flip um. What do you flip? Tech decks. <laughs> oh, oh yeah? that's a good one. I haven't heard th- I heard of that in a while. Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like the Beyblades. <laughs> oh, oh, I gosh. used to love oh Beyblades. Oh, my gosh. One time when we were little, we were playing Beyblades, and I had this cute pink purple one, and I was playing with all the – because I was in a daycare. <laughs> Do you know where this is going? <laughs> okay, so one of them was like, oh, come play, come play, come play. And they were, I was sitting down, and one was standing up. And he was like, let it rip, because you know how like Beyblades let it rip, and he would pull the thing out? He farted in my <laughs> face. <laughs> like, let it rip. No, I will never play with Beyblades again. You ruined that the whole experience, like huh? <laughs> yeah. I was like, that, what that was that? That sounds like user error. <laughs> no, user it error. is your error. It was <laughs> not my error. I was bamboozled. <laughs> it was bamboozling. Tech decks. No, serious. There's, uh, I was at the skate park with Jimmy one time, and there was a guy with a tech deck just doing tricks off the ramps. Mm. I was like, and he had like the little pants, like. Tony Hawk. <laughs> Tony Hawk. Yep. And I was like. I walked up. I got a picture with him. I said, "This guy's cool." This and guy's I laughed. cool. Yeah, he said, "Hey, bro, can I get a picture with you?" <laughs> please, please. Need a signature. He was like, "This worked all." But no, he had like the the finger pants and everything, the finger shoes. He was like, "Oh, he was not I even was a beginner. Like, he, was he was intermediate. He was yeah. advanced. <laughs> he was advanced." Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, no uh. Where, what's the craziest place that you guys want to travel to? And by crazy, I mean... I want to go to Switzerland. I was going to say, I definitely want to go out like somewhere out of the country. I uh, know. Like, me sure. and Emily... I think the reason why me and Emily click so hard, because we weren't... We didn't... We weren't always close, but we clicked... We are the same person in different fonts. Literally. Yeah. So, okay. Switzerland. I feel like that's why we are so good, like, dynamic duo, because, like, we are always on the same... There's a roller coaster in Switzerland I want to go on. It's supposed oh, to be they like come with us. Yeah. It's supposed to be like 25 minutes. Oh, oh. I would go on that. And so Stomach turning and tumbling after, but I'm down. <laughs> it, but so, I'm down. So it's literally on the top of this mountain, and you go down, and like, do you guys know Thunder what um, uh, uh, bobsledding is? Do you guys know what bobsledding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it kind of like 
I heard, I, if we're thinking about the same one, is there like two tracks? Like one is kind of slower and one's faster? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, mm-hmm. you, you, so like you just take this metal bobsled down the down mountain. Down the mountain. <gasps> is there like, are you like strapped in? No, it's a, no. It's a bobsled like you're... For 25 minutes? <laughs> yeah. No, no. Like, like never you, mind. Yeah, that's yeah. not a roller coaster. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> <coughs> you have like a, a, a break and everything inside, so you can. Are you on a track? Yeah, it's yeah. A track. You're on a track. So I can't like fall off. You watch, no, 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 no. You look at all the pretty ma- mountains and I'm stuff. I'm gonna be screaming. What do you mean looking? <laughs> no. Well, I mean you can scream and look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, never mind. No, I was watching this YouTube video. I saw the whole thing because I was just like, man, I want to be there. Twenty-five minutes from the top to the bottom. You know, Emily doesn't have YouTube on her phone. Yeah. That is very trifling. Yes. <laughs> See, if I need YouTube, I'll type it in the browser. In YouTube. Safari. Com. She types Safari in YouTube.com. YouTube. Com. Com. That okay. is so I embarrassing. The app. It takes up storage. <laughs> it is so embarrassing. I, guess, I don't regularly yeah. use YouTube, so. Oh, if you don't regularly use it, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. And that's how you know she's born. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where would you go in the world? Um, the next place I'm I'm thinking about traveling to is Ireland. <gasps> I'm Irish. Say that. Me too. Oh my god, girl. Well, obviously you're Irish, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but that's like the more I think about it, the more it's like maybe I should put it on the back burner. No, we don't ever put nothing uh-uh. on the back burner. But like, <laughs> at, but like, at the same time, if, if you I commit book to that something, right now, I you know I would like to see some follow through. But Ireland is like the most expensive place to travel no to. switzerland look it up switzerland yeah. is switzerland. expensive yeah. switzerland is expensive. It's like the, the oh, most yeah. expensive but i'm still down though i'll door dash <laughs> i'll door dash literally yeah there's a uh online you could book a trip for, for like five weeks eight weeks 12 weeks <gasps> our friend does that oh yeah Emma, she does that mm-hmm. and yeah. so and it's like a little itinerary. So like you, you stay at a hotel and in Spain, everything's set up. Everything's yes. set up. You stay there for three days and, and you get on a bus and then you go to the next hotel in like Austria. And you like, stay there. Um, and you go to Rome and like I wanna do that. Have sure. you ever seen L O L with Marley <laughs> Cyrus? <laughs> yeah. Like I've that. seen parts. Oh no, we watched I think we watched it together over somewhere. But it's I like might that. have fallen asleep. Where they leave. That's right, yeah. I'm down. I want to go to Korea. There was she uses a website like that. Um, oh, I she's gonna go, to Korea. go to Korea. Korea, I heard I is, to to Korea. Is, is beautiful, but you, I would never go to Korea. You, the thing about Korea, or China, Japan. Japan, I would go to Japan. You, you have to like obey the laws for sure. Yeah, no, for sure, because yeah. they hate us. Yeah, <laughs> but you will be you will go to prison so quick. But no, when I went to Namibia, um, when I went to Namibia for five weeks, um, they 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 sent us to the U.S. embassy. Oh, stop. And so they said, they said, okay, since you're on this trip, you're allowed here, 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 and here. If you're outside of these areas, we can't save you. <gasps> no, I've heard of that. And so we oh, had to sign scary. paperwork as U.S. citizens that we acknowledge what they said, and we had to stay within the because there's a lot of terrorists and, yeah. and you know, th- you know, a lot of extremists outside of those areas, especially in the camps. It was Jamaica. Jo- yeah, I heard that about Jamaica. J- okay, so the thing about Jamaica is they make you sign the paper before yes, you go. For before the you go. Oh, actually, I didn't know that. I was just agreeing. <laughs> um, yes. For uh, for for Namibia, I actually had to do an interview with um the consulate on Zoom. I want to make sure that you were the real thing. And, well, like not only that, but calm and collected, respectful. But basically. <laughs> Basically, what what they do, and it, it's this whole scripted thing that you had to read, and it was like, are you sure you're going there to not escape the U.S. and give out secrets, different things like Bye. that, and like you had to do like the whole sign thing, and like, no, it, it, I mean, trust me, like, beautiful country, and I could actually see myself li- living there part time. No, I I love Namibia. No, I can't. Beautiful. It was like seventy degrees. And like, how much was gas? Gas was like thirty-five, forty-five Dollars? C- cents. Oh, uh, uh, actually, uh, actually, <laughs> wait a minute. I could go there. <laughs> well, b- okay. Well, here's the thing. It's in liters over there. It's a liter. Oh, liter. Mm. So See, I don't get those Fahrenheit Celsius. Just tell me the number. So like, <laughs> just tell me the number. <laughs> if it says thirty-five cents, and and in, in, in like any other country that's not U.S. dollar, you have to times it by four because it's mm. four. 35 times 4, that's 12. 
four, five, what twenty. Cents, though, so that's like two bucks. Twelve. That's like a gallon. Oh, it's like one forty. Yeah, it's like one forty a gallon. So like. Dang, my mouth. That was so good. good. That, mouth that was, was really good. good. My so dad's like, a math teacher, guys. Thank you. So like, if you go to Canada, <laughs> so Canada gas right now is expensive because it's I four dollars. I want to go to Canada. I want to go to Canada, but and their healthcare is free. But you yeah. know, it takes three years. If you have like, if you have like an appendicitis or anything, you need anything out. It's through a three-year wait list. Like you will. Oh, yeah, like, not it's make all it. standard. But um, I never knew that. I had some friends who were like, no. "Oh, okay, gas is a dollar cheaper in Canada." I was like, "No, bro, it's a liter." So you <laughs> it's get, a you, there's liter. there's four liters in a gallon. You get at times that by four, so gas was like fourteen dollars a gallon. A gallon, and fourteen dollars. Yeah. yeah, like right in now. Canada. Yeah, like, yeah, like right 14 now. Fourteen dollars yeah. again, right now. Right now. And we're complaining about five. Yeah. What? So no for one gallon, so <laughs> two gallons is twenty eight. Well, five no is still way. a lot. Fourteen, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh God, <laughs> Fourteen any five. day. Huh? No Dude, way. I'd rather have to fill up my tank. But every there's only day. like five roads in Canada. <laughs> no, I don't. I'd walk in Canada. Yeah. I heard their nature's really nice, and they have really the nice people. Nice. Grounds yeah, grounding. Nice. Really one with nature. nature. Um, it this, helps. This it does. group I'm a part of, we had a um, Facebook Marketplace. No. <laughs> No, I uh, know. No, this so it's called the Native Sons of the Golden West. It's basically a California group, and well, me and Emily can join. Our third vice president oh. actually just moved to, to Alaska on a whim. <gasps> she met. I almost boy. went to school in Alaska. Did you know I was that the Antarctica and, and North Pole no, are on separate sides? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I. Okay, well, I knew that too, actually. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad, glad you did. Let me make sure y'all knew. <laughs> so you just checking. You were just checking us. No, yeah. the other day I was doing homework with this, with because you know how I work at the district. Yeah. And we had to make a globe. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were drawing, and then she was like, "Oh, the Antarctica," and, uh, and I was like, "Oh, side? you could put no the North Pole like over here, like." I really thought it was in Antarctica. And she was like, "It's on separate sides." I had to look it up. I was like, "There's no way a third grader is telling <laughs> me this right now." And I was supposed to be watching, like, helping you. So well, I mean, it happens. Geography <laughs> lesson. Geography <laughs> lesson. I got it. But uh, we're about to wrap up here. We have a couple more minutes. Um, 7.55. But, um, yeah, we have two more minutes here. Okay, so can we play Would You Rather real quick? Okay, Would You Rather. You need yeah. it. Like, you guys all have to answer with your all real right, go thing. Ahead. Go ahead. Would you rather swallow a live mice... One mouse, a live baby mouse with orange juice. It has to be a live one gulp or two cockroaches, but you got to eat it like chips. You can have some hummus with it if you want. <laughs> are those, oh wait, were the roaches They're both alive? alive. Oh. I've seen Fear Factor. The the cockroaches oh. aren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to floss with the with the, the legs. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's better than the whole mouse. Yeah, cause in the, but the mouse could eat all the stuff in your stomach because you're swallowing it alive. I don't alive. think that's how it works. You're swallowing it I alive. Think, but well, your body's yeah. going to digest it. Yeah, like, no, your body's going to not. It's when, it's a not snake, be alive. when a snake eats a mouse whole, you still see it squirm when it hits the stomach. Like, well, that's because it has... That's it, because why? Because, because it kills why? it more slowly. Does it have the acid? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have the acid that we have. It literally crushes it Okay, well, you guys are taking it too literal. So <laughs> mouse or cockroach, <laughs> please. Cockroach. Cockroach. Ooh. What do you think? You go with orange juice? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd do the mouse. No and then way. you could just pretend like the the, the, the the you could pretend like the tail of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually I would do the mouse too. That's Me and your Emily. Reasoning? Yeah. The, the rest is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I used know. to watch Fear Factor. They used to eat cockroaches all the time. No. And that's that's like I, I've never seen them eat a mouse, so that's why I'm not do choosing the mouse. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, do we have time for one more? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, just kidding, guys. Bye. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we are wrapping it up here with no Sam. It's just gonna be me and my dad today. So please watch our show. Um, yeah. On KCA, whatever works. On Instagram, you can find us on social media. All different types. Sam will be back next week with Townsend. So, everyone have a wonderful Sunday night and stay blessed. Every day can be 
a better day despite the challenge all you gotta do is leave it better than you found it it's gonna get difficult to stand but hold your balance i just say whatever cause there is no way you're around it. everyone falls down sometimes but you just gotta know Southern California.